Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, um, just thank you for being able to embrace and just accept the unseen that is heading towards your life, knowing that it's truly needed for you to go to that next step. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so i know so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also um if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading toward heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good information as well as good vibes that uh, you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that is going through some dark moments right now and need confirmation or validation uh, towards your life path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share in the social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you so much for the love and support is all greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and i don't know who it is but somebody that is related to or has a friend named kyle is truly needing somebody to talk to them i don't know who it is but i keep on hearing please send that message out for kyle that somebody really needs somebody to talk to is like i've with this meditation is like a lot of intuitive things that's coming in so if anybody knows a person named Kyle that's really struggling with stuff please go ahead and call them and make sure that they're they're okay they just need somebody to vent to to talk to and they don't know how to come out and say it um but anyways my video uh my in, uh my meditation video which is very powerful because it just opened up the uh, pandora's box on a lot of messages that's coming through um it's called awaken the master in you uh a a, a, a a s m r 3d binary sounds of nature and i will post that link in the description box below yeah if anybody got a medium gift this is like very powerful because all this stuff is coming in one of my love bugs is like somebody from that they passed on is telling me about things that they're doing and it's like can you please refer this to them no problem you know as long as they don't shoot the messenger or snap at the messenger it's all good but anyways uh yeah my video today is about twin flame 101 uh, Hayoka is heading towards that milestone that they thought they would never be able to get over. You know, there's things that's been placed in our life, and I know, hey, creator, and all they want me to, they're they're pulling out different contents that they want me to talk about. Like, wow, that's some powerful stuff. You know, because there's things that has happened in our life where it could be a breakup. Like, you know, when you were young and somebody broke your heart you're like oh my god i'll never get over them i love them they're my everything and this and this and that well we tend to you know do things as in childhood as well as we do in adulthood there's a lot of things that have been popping up in our life that you know has happened that we really feel that we can never get through you know it's always going to be that dark moment but like i tell y'all all the time you have to be able to make it a daily mission for you to allow yourself to look in the mirror even saying affirmations i used to say that a lot back in the day on my videos when i first started now i'm starting to bring it back because i even have to tell myself that i look right dead in the mirror and tell myself i would not allow these things to keep getting to me i will seek peace in my life you know because i deserve that you deserve that you know everybody deserves love everybody deserves happiness everybody deserves a peace of mind so you have to be able to allow yourself to let it go with the flow allow yourself to not engage in the memories that keep constantly coming up because they're coming up for you to be able to make peace with them and let them go with love being able to deal with things on so many different matters um being able to see it in a different perspective without putting the healing i mean the not the healing but the feelings and the emotions within that traumatizing you know setback because it's like you know sometimes we feel like the world's punishing us i i mean there's times i go through it myself like you know i'm really tired of going through this but the only person that's holding holding back is myself you know it's just like i can't allow people to do anything if i don't let them get to me you know i can't allow somebody to stop something for me unless i open that floodgate for them to do that and there's a lot of times we have to be quiet with the things that we have going on in our heads you know there's time in a place 
for things to be vented out to and like you know like they say sometimes it's better for you to go to god creator and universe with it before you go with people because a lot of times they can use that towards you or pray against something that you got coming on in your life for them to be able to trigger that or sometimes people are just mean and throw stuff back in your face when they get all up in their feelings so it's just a lot of times that things occur in our life that we feel like we are never going to get over but it's just that time you have to be fair to yourself you have to be honest with yourself and it's just like what is it doing for me to hold on to this what purpose is it having other than keeping me in a dark place and got me in this rotating rotating wheel that we keep constantly going through that we need to just constantly just get out that door you know like you're going into the department stores and got that rotating door yeah it ain't no fun you trying to get to the store you trying to get wherever you trying to do it's better than just staying in that thing because it's not doing nowhere you know it's just gonna make you dizzy so it's just like uh, there's a lot of places we need to be able to explore but we can't be able to do that if we're holding on to pain we're holding on to darkness sadness um despair all these things because it's like yes these things has happened and yes it's not fair and it never was meant to be fair but it's just to be able to be able to get the meaning behind the situations you had to go through i mean when it comes to abuse and sexual abuse and stuff like that I, I don't know why that had to happen but it's just like for you not to allow yourself to keep torturing yourself with that situation because you know hopefully whoever did these things to you it has been has been dealt with you know um being able to distance yourself from people that will trigger you being around healthy company you know what i'm saying healthy vibes you know i try to you know uh keep myself around the most utmost people that want to see themselves grow as well as you um being able to send positive vibes towards your way as you're doing the same it's just a lot of people are like rosin you, you be having a work away with your words but I don't, i'll give it when credit's due you know if i see somebody with a beautiful soul that you know just like i i give a shout out to my girl uh spirit girl brenda you know i love her to death because that woman i mean takes time out of her day and constantly sending out posts that i resonate with all day that you know i might be saying to myself or i even say in my videos and next you know boom you know there's a lot of her you know a lot of her uh pictures i use the posts that she she puts out i use a lot of them in my thumbnail because they're very therapeutic for you to be able to hit and i always tell her you know you're god sent because there's a lot of valid validations that you placed in my life that i can see that i'm on the right path you know i can say something and there, boom there she goes she's putting it in a in a uh in a post on on facebook and it's truly a blessing to be able to have people like that in your life you know i love to be able to do one-on-ones with people and they say rosalyn you know i love talking to you because you don't place judgment on me you know you're honest with me you don't beat around the bush you know because i'm not trying to poke at somebody's feelings or trying to call them slow or nothing like that but but if i see a train wreck happen i'm like you don't see this you know because <laughs> some people are certain blind towards certain things because they want something so bad but it's like the universe is giving you that spotlight hey i'm trying to stop you before this train wreck is ready to happen and a lot of times they need somebody to come in with them and let them know like hey you know this is not healthy for you not do that you know because there's a lot of things we truly want in our life so we think oh this will be better if we have this in our life and then when you know god and creator put that that speed bump in like uh-uh they ain't supposed to happen there's a reason behind that because it may be not healthy for you it may not go the right way or it's just like it's just not healthy so it's just a lot of things we have to be able to do for ourselves meditate you know take time to go out in nature you know solitude so you can do some soul searching and you know being able to you know uh being able to heal on so many different levels because it's just like if you're dealing with a lot of things and it's just like you know a lot of my love bugs open up in there they're you know they're strong enough to be able to put what they're you know they're you know they're struggling with in the community because i always tell people you know i don't allow i don't allow no bullying i don't allow no disrespect you no know, making somebody feel like they don't got you, you know they're stupid or anything because as soon as i see any of that i, I you're done you're done because i feel like you know on this community you should be able to embrace the things that you're struggling with because a lot of us is like if i can't say anything you know a lot of my love bugs will send love and vibes towards that person and tell them hey you know i know it's not easy going through this you know because I, I feel a lot of love in this community and that's all i want love and understanding that's the only thing i'm permitting to through it if it's not positive it ain't it can't be here 
so you know and it's just like that's a beautiful thing where we all can relate to each other and you know be open and comfortable enough but a lot of people doesn't you know want their business out and i can respect that as well you know people will get on me you know get towards me on an email if anybody sent me an email lately and you know, i haven't got to it yet i honestly haven't checked it that's why i always tell people hey look me up on facebook messenger you know you can get a hold of me quicker there because sometimes i get caught, caught up in everything i'm doing i forget to check that email but it's, it'll be quicker to get towards me and you know uh, messenger but it's just like I tell people there are certain times, you know, I would chat with you. Now, if it's after a certain time and I don't hit you back, it's because it's past that guideline because I put boundaries up for my me time and there's time I'm doing with my kids. But, you know, there's there's things we really have to take ourselves or be gentle with yourself. Give yourself understanding because there's times I get mad at myself because I'm like, why can't you think to get over this? You know, and I get mad at myself for that because it's like, OK, if this situation really puts you through some bad times it, it takes a long time for you know for your heart to be able to measure up to the things that your mind is like because your mind might be saying you know yeah this is a messed up situation but if you want happiness in your life you're gonna have to be able to let this go then the heart is still you know healing towards the you know the things that you are soaking in that all that had to happen because that's a lot to have to deal with to know that your family did some stuff like that you know whatever but i can see the blessings throughout that situation because it's like when you can be able to endure so much trauma and be able to bounce back from something like that, that takes some real good strength and some good big balls <laughs> to be able to deal with something like that and being able to be open and let people know, yes, it's going to be a process. And I tell people, you got to go through it to get to it. But it's all a healing process that you're allowing yourself to heal. If you're not comfortable enough with doing certain things, that's fine that because you're taking that process out to heal you know and it's just like it all is it comes in different stages but it's just the things that you need to bring towards attention that okay that might keep you stagnant in certain situations that could be dating being able to be around people anti-social being around big crowds it's just like there's times that i really don't care for being in big crowds i get nervous i get agitated and all that stuff but then if i know it's a must hey you know i'm gonna deal with that process protect myself on all different you know wards you know making sure nobody's energy is clashing with mine and i'm not taking on somebody else's but i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video but like i said if you're struggling with some certain traumas that you have you know has happened to your life being able to sit with it and let it know you know being able to detach your feelings from it take that apart and being able to see that you cannot allow these certain things to keep affecting you like they have been for this time because if it's not if you have detached yourself from whoever has caused that you sh should sit up here and say hey these people are no longer in my life so i should be able to detach myself away from these things because you truly deserve happiness and a peace of mind to go down your journey so i hope this was able to help someone like i said if somebody has a friend or a family member named kyle i don't know why that kept coming in um because they're they're strongly telling me somebody needs to get in touch with the, somebody named kyle and they really need to talk to them so um you know, I hope that everybody has a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Sending um, post notification shout outs to uh, Yarna Jen, uh, Bonnie Jo Smith, and Georgina M Mogul. Much love to you, and I will talk to you in my next video. Know that you are uh, truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And send out much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know when your kind words can really take somebody a long way. Like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, share, and I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.